Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, uh, he's the owner of Aria Sydney, Aria Brisbane, uh, Chiswick, uh, Upper Bar, North Bundy Fish, River Bar and Kitchen, Chiswick at the Gallery. And oh, this is quite long, actually. And a plethora of awards to his name, plus a handful of best-selling cookbooks. I've cooked his books out. That's renowned Australian chef, restaurateur, author, television personality and judge uh, Matt Moran. He is one of the international acts uh, will headline the Joba Leg of the Good Food and Wine Show at the Ticket Pro Dome until tomorrow. Uh, he started his food career at the age of 15, can you believe it, as an apprentice at the, I'm going to try and say this, La Belle Helene restaurant in Roseville in Sydney's North Shore. He's here and, he, and that's of course where he discovered the art for classical French cooking, which remains the foundation of his cooking today. The award-winning chef with over 30 stellar years in the food industry behind him, I know he sounds a bit old, uh, he's here to talk to talk to us more about the good food and wine show. When we say over 30 years, you don't even look like you're in your late... I was very, very young. Very, very young. 15. What was it about food that just said, aha, hallelujah, this is something I've got to do? Yeah, look, I, I um, at school, I, I, I wasn't very academic and uh, I would have done anything to leave school and, and I kind of fell into it. You know, I don't have one of those beautiful romantic stories of you know yeah. my mother and my grandmother being this incredible cook and watching them and growing up yeah in the no, kitchen not and at all. I, and... I grew up on a farm yeah. and uh and now i'm back into farming I, I own a big farm three hours west of sydney which i have uh, fat lamb and, and cattle and wow. and uh and pigs now and um and also truffles fresh truffles that we've just planted so um i fell into it and i fell in love with it and you know i think with anything in life if you if you love it and you uh and you, you're passionate about it, you, you do well. Um, it's that great saying, you know, you do something in, in life um, you never have to, that you love, you never have to work another day in your life. Matt, you know how big you are on the African continent? When you're in Australia <laughs> and you're doing cooking shows and people are watching you cook mm. and they're falling in love with the dishes or you're giving them new ideas, do you, are you, is there a connection to how that affects somebody else who has no relationship with Australia on another continent? Look, I, I know that I've done a lot of TV shows. I think it's about uh, eight or nine TV shows now, different ones. Mm. And uh, a lot of those have been sold overseas. MasterChef, which was probably the, the biggest one. Um, and you know when you go to another country straight away, you know, because you get off the airport and people go, oh, my God, it's that's you. Matt Moran. It's you. Yeah, yeah so Can even, I kidnap even, you? even when I got off the, uh, the plane, you know, I walked out and I was waiting for, uh, waiting for some people, you know, some people came up and asked for a, for a photograph. And in the lift um, yesterday, you know, on my, on my way home. So it's nice. It's a nice feeling. Okay. Talk to me about this concept because I, I, I've watched you for years. So yep. I know you've got a couple of concepts, but one of them is the paddock to plate philosophy. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I, I'm a big believer in, and I, I'm very blessed. You know, mm. I've got some amazing restaurants and uh, they're very successful. And, you know, part of the success is, is the actual ingredients that we use, mm. uh, the product. Um, and if it wasn't for the producers, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. So I decided a, a couple of years ago when I left MasterChef in 2013 that I actually developed my own show. By the way, you looked very scary on MasterChef. Yeah, I, I probably always, was. I always, <laughs> I always fear for those contestants, by the way, whenever you walk in. <laughs> oh, look, you know, that, that's the role that I played. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm not that scary in real life, you know. Um, well, you are the owner of a restaurant and you've got to, <laughs> you've got to produce. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you were saying, so it's really about the ingredients so really and the about, philosophy yeah, of putting fresh things on the yeah, plate. Yeah, right? of course. You know, it's a lot easier to, to do a great dish by having great ingredients rather than using something that's second mm. rate and, and trying to create a, a great dish. So I actually started travelling around Australia and, and meeting those mm. producers and, and really telling their story. Um, and it was, you know, it was a phenomenal show. You know, it went for a couple of years and, and time only kind of stopped me from doing it now. And, and now I'm doing a show called Great Australian Bake Off with uh, the, the famous Maggie Beer. Yeah, yeah. So Maggie, and Maggie Beer and I are the judges on that, which is a lot of fun. So, you know, get, get to eat a lot of cake. Just, obviously you have a good food and wine show and it's interaction yep. and people are learning from you. But as a, as a, as a chef who's now almost done everything, mm. I don't know what's left on your, on your, on, on, on your bucket list. But very quickly, where, where's the pleasure for you now? Look, you know, I love to actually uh, teach and, and, and see enjoyment from food and, and the Good Food and Wine Show this weekend. I'm so excited. You know, today's the, the first day and, mm. and actually get out there and meet some South Africans. I've never been here before. Wow, um, welcome. So, yeah, it's really, really exciting. Yesterday I went on a little safari and uh, saw uh, a wild elephant and, and, and a cheetah, which apparently you don't see very often. 
And um, I, it fascinates me, South Africa. And I'm just surprised that I've never been here before. So I'm really, really excited. And we are happy to have you here. I promise you, you're going to get swapped at uh, the Good Food and Wine Show. But Moran, now Australian chef. This guy is very famous. He's a restaurateur, author, television personality, and judge with over 30 years of experience in the food industry. He'll be at the Good Food and Wine Show. It's at the Ticket Pro Dome. Go and check it out. It's going to be a master class. I'm not going to use any words. But I can take a nap. Take it anyway.